Hello, my name is Carl Sarri and this is a video tutorial for the Facebook group called Fans of Serif Software. Now, in this tutorial I'd like to look at a process that is called High Key. Now this is a process that you would properly do by capturing it in camera anyway because you'd be in a studio and you'd have the lighting all set up it's mainly, as far as I know, it's mainly used on portraiture photography. I'm guessing you can probably use it on other types, but I, I think it's mainly really just used for portraiture. As I do not do portraiture photography, I do not have an image of my own that I can use. So I have downloaded this one from the royalty-free image site called pixabay.com. Um, and the whole point of high key images are that it's a very white and very bleached out image and that bleached out effect sort of hides any imperfections you know like wrinkles and lines and what have you and it's not necessarily a type of image that I like and but doesn't mean I can't try and help explain to you how to recreate that image if you can't get it in camera. Now I'm going to do it in two different ways. The first I'm going to use a plugin and then I'm going to recreate it in Photo Plus itself, just using Photo Plus. So the plug I'm going to do the plugin version first because this being a more professionally um, adapted program. I'm guessing their high key filter will be better than what I can manage in Photo Plus only. So we can compare the two different versions. So the filter uh, plugin I'm going to use, if I come to effects, that plugins, and it's from the NYX collection, and it, I'm going to use it from the Color FX Pro 4. Now I think there are many plugins that do will have a high key filter in it. So if you have different plugins, you should be able to find it elsewhere. But I will use this one. Um, it's currently set up on a different filter, but high these are all done in alphabetical order, so it's easy enough to find high key. I just click that. And as you can see, it's very bleached out. So I'll just click OK. I'm not going to make any alterations. It's at its default settings. And then we just wait for that to process. And there we have what that plugin thinks high key image should look like. So I'm now going to try and recreate this as best I can just using. Photo Plus layers and it's very simple it's only about two or three steps so I've got a, a copy of that image and first thing I need to do is duplicate the layer so you just right click on the background layer and then come up to duplicate in the menu and then once the new layer is highlighted in the layer display area here you come up to image adjust and come down to um, hue saturation you can you can also do this by control shift and h but and the th what i'm going to do is i'm going to lower the saturation all the way to the left to minus 100 click ok to make this a black and white image now all we need to do now is change the blending mode currently set on normal. You come down to this drop down menu. Now the magazine that I saw this process in said to use overlay. So we'll look at that first. And as you can see that is like a high key image. And if I go back to the plugin version obviously there are some differences it's not as probably not as effective as the plugin but 
it is not a bad version. Again, the magazine that I saw this in said that if this was too bright for you, you could lower the opacity. But I wanted to try and get nearer to the magazine image, so I, I did flick through some of the other blends. And the one I saw worked best it was screen. Now if I go back to that image there, I think that is nearer to the plug-in version and it is probably a tad too much so I can lower this down say to about 70-75% maybe and this, oh, let me just, and then so it's still not like the plug-in version but it is a lot closer than I had with the using the overlay blend mode but your images may work better with the overlay blend mode rather than the screen blend mode so I would advise you to look at both different blend modes um, so basically that is it so whether you use the plug-in or be it the one I use or some other version or you try it yourself you now have access to being able to make a high key image so all you need to do now with this particular version is just merge, flatten the layers or merge them which come out to layers come to merge merge all and then once it's merged you can save it under a new name and there you have your high key image thank you and goodbye